So Gareth, um, back in the England fold, um, but also you know back in playing your rugby league in England as well. Big change for you. Yeah, it's been a been a bit of a change, but one that I've sort of had made around for, a, for quite a few months now. I've made a decision early on in the year and uh, sort of sort of prepping everything just to get back, and it's uh, it's really good to be back. Actually, good to be back in England itself, and good to be back in the England setup again. And are you looking forward to going out to South Africa with the boys and you know finding your feet again within within the national team? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. It's something I've been looking forward to for a while. I think uh, when Steve um, spoke to us over in Australia a few months ago and told us about it, it was something that really appealed to me. I've never been to South Af Africa before, so yeah, something I'm really looking forward to. Top class preparation is is the word that we need to use. We are preparing next year for a World Cup. It's obviously a very important year for us. Um, there's a tournament this year um, that we, we desperately want to play well in. You know, we really want to play well and, and take it to Wales and France, but we want to give ourselves the best opportunity to, to perform in the World Cup next year. So the South Africa trip does that. We've got uh, you know 24 blokes who are going to be out there fit and raring to go. And uh, yeah, it'll be great for us to to get together again as a group in a, in a different climate and take people out of their comfort zones. And these ten days and the triangular tournament, uh, the the key to this this World Cup, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Like you said, we, we've got to be careful because we, we, we want to perform really well this year for this year in this year's tournament. But you know, ultimately, at the outset, we 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 knew we couldn't play Australia or New Zealand. You know, we had to make a decision: what was the best ne next best option for us to be ready to win a World Cup? And it was. Yeah, an high altitude training camp is something we've wanted to do for a while. Hopefully it puts us in a really strong physical position to perform very well when we come back and ultimately when we come back next year we'll be playing Australia first game and we want to be ready to, to, to go out and win that game. And was it frustrating at times being out there and you know with the, the England set up being back here and some of your, your family as well you know is it, is it kind of a little bit frustrating at times as well as being you know great experience for you? Yeah obviously that's the thing that drew, drew me back you know was getting back around family and, and, and being home again um, but yeah you know it, when, when I decided to go to Australia I always knew in the back of my mind I wouldn't be as heavily involved with the England setup as well so it was something that I sort of uh, came to terms with the early doors but it's nice you know now that I can obviously be involved from the off and you know, hopefully be involved in things like the ETS things ac across the year and, and really get back in the England spirit again. Yeah I think the experience he's had playing in Australia has been, been outstanding. He's, he's certainly represented himself and his family and and ourselves as a country you know, very well but it's good to have him back now playing in a domestic competition uh, we'll be able to see him first time week in, week out, and, and I'm looking forward to, to him bringing that professionalism um, that he brings to everywhere he goes uh, into the Super League competition and partic particularly to all FC and hopefully improving as every aspect of their club as well. And, you know, some of the Australians obviously won't be making the, the trip over, and the most notable one of those, I guess, is Sam Burgess, who we haven't seen. In a in a white and red shirt for for quite some time, you know how involved, how in the loop is he out there? Because I know you do go out there quite a lot to to keep him up to speed with things. Yeah, he's he's very involved, and he was very very desperate to be involved in this series. But you know, it's just the right decision for everybody involved. He he needs this operation uh, to look after his knee. He needs this to to make sure he's the very best player he can be for the number of years going forward. If he didn't have it done now, he certainly wouldn't have had it done next year before the World Cup and we could have been looking at serious problems for Sam long term. He is desperate to be involved in the England setup. He's very passionate about playing for his country and uh, I think you could tell that by the first year when he went to South Sydney and he came back mid-season for an international but unfortunately for Sam it won't be this year, he'll have to wait another 12 months. The big barrier that we've had for a while is just psychologically, you know, the fact that we look up to Australia and and see them as sort of um, almost unbeatable, you know, at times. And I think the fact that players have been out there and the, and the play against those players week in, week out, I think it just gives you a bit of confidence that they are, they are only human and they do make the same mistakes as everybody else. And the opportunity is there if you play well enough and you work hard enough to, uh, to get the spoils. The England setup seems to get, you know, knocked a fair bit by, you know, by the by, the press, if you like, you know, what, what what's your view on it from from Australia? Well, obviously, in terms of our performances over over recent years, probably ten, fifteen, maybe even twenty years, we probably haven't earned the respect, um, and that's probably deservedly so. You know, we haven't won, we haven't won a lot, so um, yeah, they do probably look down on us a little bit. But I think the way that the England setup is going, I, could, I I was really impressed with what Steve had put together, put in place last year. And it seems to be going up another level, level again. And all those things, you know, that professionalism that's, that's brought to this this uh, England setup, 
can only do do as good and I'm really excited about the future of, of England rugby league and hopefully you know if, when I'm finished and gone there'll be, there'll be new guys stepping up and they'll take it to another level again.